Um, I've done it in five tiers. So you've got champions, which is obviously the best kits. And yeah, you can sort of get the gist of it. Relegated, it means they're trash. They should be in the bin, go back to the drawing board. We're better to start than this fucking trash Arsenal shirt. I hate it, man. I really just don't like it. I don't like it. All our kits this year are divided. I think they're the best three kits you've had for ages as no. a collective. Nah, la- all, all three of last year's kits were the best kits we've had in a long while. Where would you put that kit? I would say European. Oh, see, I would go avoid relegation because I don't think it's the worst kit, but I don't think it's the nicest. So, so we're, we're going to stick that mid table. That is just there. <laughs> <laughs> that kit's fire. That kit is the best I, kit. Me, I don't think it's all that. Oh my God. It makes me sad. It makes me see, sad. I, I, I like it. I think it's good, but I, I'm not getting the hype over it. Oh, so all right, where would you rank it then? probably like mid table to maybe avoid relegation oh, we're gonna have to put it mid table then really oh, makes me sad right this third one is the supposed arsenal third kit but obviously nothing's out yet so i've just got a the leak one from footy headlines whatever they've got and it's this tie-dye version with like a i would say like a peach print on it but i haven't got a clue oh I mean, I it was gold like a goldy yellow no it's like a faint peach sort of color it's weird oh, man. okay that changes changes my opinion where are you ranking this then see it's different because if it was yellow i would go like european to mid table but if it's going to be peachy then avoid relegation oh, yeah um oh yeah I'll, mm, leave I'll it there. Leave i'll it leave it there. there villa's home kit oh god there orange yeah. Yeah, it's boring as shit. It's just no. The away okay. kit. It's exactly the same as the home kit. It's just all black. But it's see, this like mean we've literally just copy and paste and change palette color. It's just boring. So where are you going with this? Relegated as well? Yeah, it's just it's too boring for me. Oh, oh do you know what? Let's try it. That's slightly better. <laughs> that is slightly better than where I put it. I might have to move that up a tier. That's actually quite nice with the with the vertical stripes. My problem with Kappa is everything is always tight. Yeah, you ain't got to wear it though, so, that, so that's not a problem. True. But that's good. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to move, move that up. That's really nice. Right, so that Villa one's getting moved up one just slightly. This is supposed to be their third kit, and it's, it was leaked today that apparently their third kit is a white version of that. This kit, it's gonna go in the bin, man. It's gonna go there. It's just such a boring design. It's just a boring it's kit. Camo, though. At least it'll have a bit of something about it. Oh well, yeah. If it's this, all right. If it's this camo one, it can go there. But if yeah. it's all white, that's without, still... without seeing it, then yeah, I yeah. think he's managed it there. Yeah. Brighton home, this is your. I love that. I love that. I think that collar, that color, it's just such a, a smart it top. It just bangs. Yeah. It just does. Where's it going? Champions. He's exactly where that's going. That kit is so nice. If that was a different league. I would look into buying it. <laughs> yeah, if it was a different club from a different country, you yeah. buy. It. Yeah. Their third kit is all black. Uh... It's just it's boring, isn't it? I swear they, were, they had a kit like that last year, like the Goldies kit was basically that. This probably is the Goldies kit. They probably just refashioned it for the away yeah. kit this year. Yeah, where's no, the, I, where's this bright one going? It's just boring. It's just been then. Yeah. Burnley. In, in the bottom, don't like it. It's just boring. Sponsor absolutely ruins it. I know it's it's meant to be like a, a special anniversary shirt or something. Oh, one. I'm sure I've read on their website like it's 100 years or something like that. You thought they'd be something like to that. commemorate it on the shirt then because at the minute yeah. it just looks like a template shirt. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the collar is good. I like the collar, but that's literally it. Yeah. The away kit is like a, a, a racing uh, English racing green and black with black around the cuffs. Oh, just Avoid a... relegation. I would have said that. It's not, I like the colour on it. It's probably the only decent thing going for it. Chelsea Home. I like the colour of the shirt. <sighs> it's, the the sp- it's the sponsor. It's the sponsor. Like the sponsor ruins this kit unbelievably. I would put it in relegated just for the sponsor. Yeah. See, even if the... even if, if nice. The shirt yeah, is nice. But that's what I mean. It's like you need other things on that kit to be white to take the focus away from that horrible sponsor logo. Like yeah. you need white in the sleeves or white on the collar, because otherwise it's just it's literally going. It's even f- red. Some of the um, Chelsea shirts previous have had a little bit of red. Right, they're away kit, which is baby blue. I don't. Again, I, I like the shirt, but it's the sponsor, isn't it? 
Ponza is just killing it for me. And I, uh, it, it, what about uh, the other thing I can't get is why you'd have like this pale blue when your home kit is blue. Mm. It defeats the point of having an away kit, really, if it's blue. It's still, it's, yeah, it's still, still blue. Great. Yeah. Right. But no, but you see what I mean though, right? With this shirt, the cuffs and the collar and the tick take the focus away from that sponsor. Yeah. And to be fair, the, the print the print actually again helps take your eyes on it. So I'll be generous and I'll move that up one. <laughs> but that that's oh, that sponsor is just and every time they get beat 3-0, that's all you're gonna hear about is that poxy sponsor. Um and I'm not sorry, this third kit goes straight in the bin as well. It looks like a Crystal Palace wannabe shirt to me. I would put it lower than that if I could. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't make an extra tier, unfortunately. But yeah, that would go. That would, shouldn't even be on here. Crystal Palace. Boring, generic. Just looks like a. Just looks like a normal Crystal Palace shirt. It's not that bad though. Like I like the whole diamond. Like the diamond point across the chest. I think is nice. Yeah. But it's just right. a, it's just a boring Crystal Palace shirt, unfortunately. Yeah, it needs a bit of trim, like colour on the sleeves. Yeah, I suppose a bit of red just to break it down or something. Yeah. yeah. Or a bit around the collar. It's just the white one's not too bad. I prefer the white because it's three colour. Well, yeah, it's three colours and not a two coloured shirt. Yeah. Same with the black. The black's not bad either. Yeah, it needs something on the sleeves. And I don't like the sponsor. The sponsor's too big. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, we can't. Unfortunately, we can't help sponsors. The home in the bin, yeah. and the white and the black yeah. just above. I would agree with that. Oh God, Everton, boring. Yeah. It's it's a shame for Everton because they normally like the collar. Like normally they have a, like a polo shirt collar. Just... It looks like it's got a bit more detail on the on the chest. It looks mm. like it's got a little. It's line. got a, yeah. It's got a diagonal sort of print you... to it. If they're lighter, if the, if you can see the detailing on the chest, then I like it. If not, and it's all just plain, it's a mm. bit boring. But I think it's meant to be similar to one of the old shirts they used to have when yeah, they, I get that. They had Hubble before. I think. Yeah. All right, I'll be I'll be generous with the Everton one, and I'll put that there. But I'm um, oh god, they got the oh look. It's, it's... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. It's so boring. Mm. Come on, man. These kits are better than... They can do better than... They, Everton had some of the nicest kits the last couple of years, man. This year, it's just yeah, these... It's, it's these Hummel and stuff like that that people just don't give a crap when it comes to designing kits. It's just got to go in the bin. That, apart from the sponsor, I really like. Yeah, it's, it's clean. Like, yeah. It's a nice clean shirt. I don't, again, don't like the sponsor, but it's a clean shirt. Again, you can't help the sponsor. I'd be quite happy to put that up there. Because of the sponsor, it's got to come down a bit. I know, but if you can't help the sponsor. This one, uh, yeah, I suppose, yeah, that's suppose. Right. You want to touch the shirt on the sponsor as well? I think that's why it just looks clean. Oh, oh I think this is sexy AF. Ooh, that's, your, that's your Tony Yaboa days and stuff like that. I was about like to that. say that, yeah, yeah. That's not, I would put that near the top. <laughs> you guys there, actually, yeah. Without, without, the, without the sponsor on, that goes top for me. It's going to have a sponsor though, isn't it? I know, so, but the, like, jag it, the it Jaguar green the with the gold, it's going to have to come down one if it's going to add a sponsor to it. Yeah. But that is nice. I do like that. This, <sighs> don't need it to even ask. That goes there. No, 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 you need to ask. It's what? Not... What? What is wrong? Oh, to be fair, no, you're right. This isn't actually nicer than last year's kit and nice year, last year's kit was amazing with the gold three stripes on the shoulders mm -hmm. it's a step down but it's still yeah, nice yeah you know, you're right that, that's going down there man that's uh, that's a, a downgrade on last year's kit it's still nice but it's yeah. a downgrade on last year's I'd be happy if I was a Leicester fan with that but yeah it doesn't I compare would. to the, the home the away it's alright I know it's generally the same as the Leeds shirt but the stripes are in a different place you see it because you've got your three stripes down the side instead of across the shoulders yeah, which I I prefer, um, yeah, I prefer them on the shoulder, like with the Leeds kit. I would go. But mid -field. then again, look, 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 right. But this has got a a nice sponsor. B, it's a clean shirt. Yeah. And it's Adidas. I've got to make an argument for top. No. What do you mean no? No. I was no. right. Well, it can't go any lower than than the other than the Leeds top because mm -hmm. th they've got to be on par. Then, if there's only one thing wrong with both kits, yeah, they've right. got to be on par. Right. Yeah. Because if that's just a sponsor and that's just the stripes, they've got to be the same. Just that we've been covering like all these other shirts and plain and boring. And then we, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but look, man, they're that's, both plain. Yeah, but it's 
No, I don't know, man. It's just it's just a nice kit, man. I can't you know, I'll, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. What do you think of that? Um, I think the blue ruins it. Yeah. I, I don't understand why they've brought the blue in. Because it's the badge from previous years. Before they changed it to just the bird, it used to have blue on it, where it used to have all the detailing all across the top with the gates. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. It used and to have blue, blue in it. Badge or, or um, teal or aqua or whatever the correct colour is. I'm not feeling it. Maybe if it was a thinner stripe. Or just one thinner. or the other. Maybe, but... Yeah, maybe like a thinner stripe running through a white cu a cuff or yeah, something. Yeah, like through the middle maybe would have been better, but it's okay. It's not the worst kit I've seen. Where are you going to put this? I would put this mid-table. It's yeah, not the best kit. Mid-table but... or avoid, really, because it's clean and nice, but... All right, you've, you've convinced me of void. Oh, wow, I don't think I wasn't even trying to. <laughs> Do you wake it? Don't even ask me. Just don't even ask me. That's going to top. Really? I love that shirt. Oh, my days. I don't get it. What's the pattern supposed to be? It doesn't have to be anything. It's well nice. The colours were... I can't, I can't agree and go top with that. I can't. It just looks nice, man. It's just so nice. I, I want to know what the pattern is. The abstract all over graphic inspired by the Shankly Gates appears. All oh, right, okay, fair enough. There's a reason behind it. It's based off the Shankly Gates, but I can't give. I can't give it top. I can't give it top. I can't give it top. I'll allow it there. I can't. No. I can't. I can't, man. Look at it. I am looking at it. That's why I said top. Oh, no, I can't, man. Look at it. It's no. I'm sorry. That's that's for me. That's not. It's a nice color. And it has a theme behind it. But look, it looks like someone's got multiple layers of coloured paper and started tearing it up and layering it on top and stuff. I can't, I can't. This reminds me of a swimming pool, I think. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Third kit. Again, I like that. I think it's all right. I don't it's, like the red down the side. It's, it reminds me of an older kit, an older Liverpool kit. This whole... <laughs> This whole think, chessboard pattern on the on the shirt, it reminds yeah, me of an old Liverpool kit. If it didn't have the panelling down the side. The red bit. Yeah, I, I would prefer it, I think. So it's just an all black shirt. Yeah, I think it would look better. I'm, I'm just going to put it as there then. Yeah, that's there. That's fine. Man, see, the mo it's mosaic pattern. I just, I, I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. But again, I want a reason why it's, there's a mosaic print. I, 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 want a, I want a story as to why they've gone with a mosaic print. I think print. it's something to do with something in Manchester. It's found all over Manchester's northern quarter, apparently, the mosaic artworks. Okay, so it's based off the Manchester heritage. Mid-table. Switch it out. I'll go with that. I'm scared to ask you about the third kit of this team. There's the away kit. I like that. I like that. I really like that. Black and bronze. And the, I'm not a big fan of bronze as a colour. No. But there's enough bronze in that to make it acceptable. Mm. As long as it's not too dark on the shirt. Yeah. Then um, that, that's fine. That's a nice kit. I'm go there with that. Maybe No, maybe there. Yeah. European. Yeah. Sounds yeah. sounds about right. Right. What what do you reckon to this? I liked it when I first saw it. Um, Someone said to me that it looks like germs under a microscope. I can't say I really... Remember what you under a microscope like? I, I, I understand where the person's coming from. It's Paisley print, isn't it? So it's like, yeah, um, yeah. it's weird. I'm, I'm not a fan. I, not, I think it's unique, but yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I couldn't rate that anyway. I would avoid relegation. I'd be happy with that. Um, Whichever. Yeah, and I think it's unique enough to not be relegated. I think it's one saving grace is it's unique. Yeah, I'll go with that. My United Home Kit. I am not afraid to put it there. Should be. I think that kit is one of their best home kits they've had in a long time. No, no, my, my apologies. There. Yeah, okay. Sponsor lets it down. Yeah, um, again, that's how I was Big, big old Chevrolet badge in the middle just ruins Too it. Big. Too big. Should just be the, the um, font. Yeah, or just or just the logo, but smaller. Yeah, too big, spoils it. But I like the the um, what is it like fleck for it or yeah. The, you if you look at that, the little yellow flecks for it, I mm. think that adds to that kit and makes it much better. Yeah, yeah I'm, I was quite happy. Yeah, to say again, it's just ruins it. Every, just every, the problem most kids. Yeah, right. I'm quite happy to put that second tier. The way in this image, it's. It's it looks sort of dark green. green. Yeah, it's a dark green. Yeah, in the bit. I don't really like it. That's why I put it in the bin. It's relegated. Yeah. I like the whole. I like this whole thing that the clubs are doing now, where they're getting their badges to match the colour of the shirts. Like especially Radidas, they do it a lot, especially with the Arsenal kits. Like with the new away kit, 
the badge is white to go with the white shirt. I thought it was meant to be black. Got the um, away kit, and it was meant to have like um, no, seagulls or something. Legacy green, it says here, with a off-white logo and a subtle all-over pattern print. The legend Earth green. Yeah, I just don't like it. Yeah, don't, I don't like it at all either. Um, the third one can sit right next to it. I kind of like it. Awful. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's awful. It's so unique that I kind of like it. I get the sponsor. It reminds me of. Um, Looks like roadkill. Like someone's one of them. Um, blackjacks. <laughs> it, does, yeah. it just reminds me of blackjack rapper. Like it's it's no good. I hate yeah, it. I think that's really nice. I think we'll have to agree to disagree on that one. Where are you ranking it? I put that in the bin. In the bin. Uh, I, I would put that as mid table so it's gonna have to go there because i actually like it i would i appreciate the fact that they tried doing something for it yeah but it's just too much for me like it hurts my eyes to look at it <laughs> oh that's funny the lines uh, don't run in order they're all sort of slanty and, ah but yeah. a, zeb a zebra's lines don't run in order <laughs> yeah, but they're cut off these are deliberately cut off yeah that's, that's like a pattern in a pattern yeah, it's like triangles just going together. Like, yeah, it's nice. I, I still like it enough to, to rate it higher than in the bin. Would you buy that if that was an Arsenal shirt? Yeah, if that was an Arsenal shirt, I would buy it. But then again, I've bought the white kit and no one likes the white kit this year. Yeah, it's true. What's your opinion on that? It's clean, but it's just a Newcastle shirt. Like, it's a generic Newcastle shirt. They like literally copy paste every year. I get it, but I think that is really nice. It's sponsor clean. ruins it because it's it's yeah, a better company. If, if that sponsor wasn't that color, no, I I, I like the sponsor in that color because I think yeah, it ties yeah. in with the badge. Yeah, I mean it's similar, but I, I just think it's boring. Like they need to do something, maybe a bit of gold trim around the arm or even white bit. I wouldn't. I don't, see, I don't think you need to change that kit. Oh, I think that kit's nice as it is. Sponsor's it's horrible because. Mm, it's just I, a generic striped shirt. Makes it look like you work at Foot Locker. Where Where are you ranking this? Avoid relegation. Uh, let's see, yeah, I would I would have put it there, but we're gonna have to go with the lower one just because. Like it's clean. Don't get me wrong. It's clean, but it's just boring. <laughs> I don't care what you say, and these next two shirts are going straight in the bin, in my opinion. I think they're both horrendous. This mm -hmm. and this. I, I like yeah. the purple. Oh my god. It's horrendous, man. Look at it. I, I like it, but I don't like it enough to warrant fighting to move it up the table. <laughs> <laughs> right, where are you putting them both? Because I'm putting them in the bin, so we have to go by your judges. I would put um, the yellow one in relegated and the purple one in avoid relegation. Right, well they're both going in the bin then because they have to go we have to go with the lowest one unfortunately. I like it but I judge it by the fact that if I was a new Newcastle fan I probably wouldn't buy it, which to me but how is can you, but... how can you like it though then? If you if you if you was if you if that was a Tottenham kit, would you buy it? Possibly. See, that's, you can't go with that, then. You can't sit there and say, "Oh well, if I was a Newcastle fan, I, I wouldn't buy it." <laughs> if you was a top, but you're a Tottenham fan, it would be a different badge and it'd be a different sponsor. Uh, uh, I suppose yeah, you have to take them things into account. The yeah. badge would be smaller because it'd just be the cockerel, yeah. and the font would be um, a giant AIA. Exactly, it'd be it'd be big, but it wouldn't. I don't know. I don't like the Chinese writing being up and to the left. Yeah, you would do that if it was centered. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I like the actual shirt. I reckon uh, that would. Great in a great. Sheffield United next. It's not bad. Uh, I kind of like it. It reminds me of like a German, like the the. Well, mind you, I'm just thinking of the top half of that shirt. It's just reminding me of a Germany kit. Mm, you had a bit of gold trim, then yeah, it reminds yeah. you of Germany. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. I don't like the sponsor. Yeah, again, sponsor runs. Two D. Plus, they got the same sponsor on the arm as they have on the chest. <laughs> They've been sponsored twice by the same company. <laughs> I like it. I think it's a decent looking shirt. So where are you going? Avoid relegation on mid table. I would I will back you with avoid relegation. I don't think it's that bad that it deserves to be relegated. I think that top is a good enough you'd top be, that it shouldn't be. Yeah, you'd be okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The away. It's nah. Boring as shit really, isn't it? It does nothing for me. I don't I'm not particularly fond of salmon kits. I just think they're horrible. It just really looks like the sleeves are tiny and the body is like really long. It's like uh, it's for the world's Crouch. tallest man. Yeah, it looks like if Peter Crouch, you know, just like... like we can, that. We can go rele relegated with that then. Right, now yeah, Southampton's, I really like this kit with this sponsor, but they've changed it to a betting company. They changed it today. It's it's um, it's bet, something bets.io or whatever. 
And it's like a I Bitcoin like company or something. I like the shirt, don't like the sponsor. Oh, see, I like but the sponsor. It reminds me of a team in Argentina. River Plate. That's the one, yeah. It reminds yeah. me of them. But I like the actual colours and the design of it. I would quite happily go European, so we have to go by your judgment on that. Mid table. Mid table it is then, okay. The away kit? Oh, oh. Navy and yellow just works, it man. Reminds me of Sweden. Like yeah. a good Swedish away kit. Yeah, just the navy and yellow is just so nice. But again, um, spawn- if they changed it to yellow, then yeah. They, my my only issue is is why have they got the badge in a shield? I think you would have just have been better having a badge on yeah. a, on the navy top there. I think that's kind of taking that down a I bit as well. Badge, yeah. I'm quite happy to put that there. But again, mid table again. Yeah, see, this one, yeah, it's fine. It's going to have to be mid-table again, isn't it? Because it's the same as the home kit. I think that one's slightly worse than the others. Really? I think that one's even yeah. nicer than the home kit. No. Like, it's not got the other colour around the um, sleeves, like on the cuffs of the sleeves. It's not got the black. Oh, OK. I see what you're saying. So, yeah, it's... It doesn't yeah. pop as much as the others. Right, so. Well, it's, it's going to go yeah, mid-table because... It's horrendous. I would have still put it as European qualification, so it's still going to go mid-table. If you're going to put it, avoid relegation. Because I yeah. would I would have still put it up here. Because I think all I, for, I, I think they've got near close to the best kits this year, Southampton. I wouldn't put avoid. Uh, sorry, I wouldn't put it in relegated. So no. I would put it in avoid. Yeah, we'll go with that one then. Oh, on to your boys. Right, so you know I've hated all the kits this year for a while. But the home shirt is piquing my interest. Because when I first saw the leak, on the blue on the um, arms, or like just over the shoulders, yeah, it had a yellow trim either side of it, mm. and that was awful. Hated it with the yellow trim, hated it. But I've seen them play in it, and it looks quite nice. I'm not sure about that backward collar thing, but yeah, <laughs> till we, yeah, the back backward that back bit's horrible. I quite like the blue on the back of the shoulders. I'm not a big fan of the. Yeah, I like the blue over the shoulders. I hate it when it gets to for some reason they think the design stops at the top yeah. and doesn't yeah. carry on. I don't really get the whole bolt thing down the side. Yeah, I don't get that. What's that supposed that to be? That's a night thing for some reason this year. I've seen it on a couple of others, I think. Oh, that's, so that's but just night being with their generic kits. I do generally like it. So where are you putting it? I would probably put it European on mid-table, but I don't think it's as strong as the other ones in European, so mid-table. So I guess it's up to you. Uh, see, I'm going to put it there for the minute because I think your away kit is nicer. I, I retract that statement. Let me look at it properly. <laughs> I The pitch I had, oh... No, do you know what? No, in I, different I, pictures, it's different shades. Yeah, um, I like. See, this picture is nice. The jaguar green is is a really nice color. It seems to be quite popular this season it's as well. The the, the, uh, the bolt down the side, like the lightning bolt. Yeah, but the bolts. Yeah, no, don't, the, the bolts are harder to see with this because it's a black on a dark green color. Yeah, if you look at this picture, that doesn't look. Yeah, I don't know what the peach is coming from. I don't understand that because it's a black lightning bolt on a dark green color. I think that's you. Yeah, look, there you go. That's a prime example. That's dark green. That's like a jaguar green, and I think that's actually a really nice top. Don't like it at all. <laughs> Where would you put it? Relegated. Relegated. I don't like it at all. Nothing oh about God. it. Do you know, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna say mid table just to avoid relegation because I think that's one of your nicer kits. In I that was case, like, the white needs to go up. The home shirt needs to go higher because there's no way they're the same. Oh man. I, oh man. I don't know. Okay. Fair enough. I, I'll let you have the white kit in mid table. I think that dark green kit's so nice though. This. No. I don't like. I'm gonna put that straight there for me because yeah. I don't like the fact that you've got your sponsor and your badge in the it's middle. It's like a training shirt. It does look like a training shirt. Like maybe I, it'd be different. Maybe. That's not, that's not a proper, it doesn't look like a proper picture. No, that, that's like, not a proper picture at all. It's a um, Photoshop. Like it's a, yeah. But I, no, just move on, man, because I'll, I'll, I'll carry on talking about how bad it is for ages. Wait, what, you, you agreeing with me on relegated? Yeah, I'd put it lower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can be oh, more judgmental on this one because it's my team, so it's awful. Um, Bin? 
I, I, it's, I like the shield on the badge. Yeah, I like the shield on the badge. That's probably the only nice thing about it. It's, and it's Umbro, which is always a nice fitting shirt. But... It's just boring. It's boring, yeah. boring, boring. They've had better shirts. It's literally like they're trying to relive 1980 all over again. It's they've like, had better shirts. That's what I'm saying. It's like they've literally pulled a, they've pulled the 1980 kit, gone, uh, kit out again and just banged all the new stuff on it and gone, there you go. It's just boring. There's nothing unique about this kit at all. It's like similar. Oh, it's, a, it's, the, it's an anniversary kit, 125 years. I'm sorry, you could have found better things to do with that. There should be something more on there, like stadium picture or badge yeah. somewhere on the shirt or yeah. whatever the... Even, even some, something thing. like on the sleeves or whatever or... Yeah, yeah it, it just it's boring. Yeah, it's oh. rubbish. Yeah, bin for me. I'm sorry, I can't let that. There can't be any hiding relegated for me. I think it's trash. The away one. Oh God, oh, it's boring. Again, like the badge. The rest of it is just. It's just boring. It's just literally. It's got to be in here. It doesn't look like a Premier League shirt to me. Like I don't. I mean, I don't know how you describe what a Premier League shirt is, but it just looks so. It. it I know what you mean. Like Premier League shirts. Every Premier League shirt normally has like a. A specific unique design because it's a Premier League team, and then like a team lower down just has like the generic version of that same shirt. West Ham have the generic version of someone else's shirt. So somewhere in the world, someone has an Umbro kit that's better, that's the exact same design that's better than this one, and West Ham got the reject model. Just if you took away the badge and you took away the sponsor, it looks like you would just order that from like an eBay for your Sunday League. Sports team. Direct. Sports, Sports Direct. Direct. Yeah. It's a Sports Direct kit. That's exactly it's, what it is. It does nothing for me. And it's yeah, not because it's West Ham, but it's just no. Yeah, I just yeah, it's just boring. The badge is the best bit. It says here, it's inspired by the nineteen sixties. It's like, I'm not being funny. West Ham need to stop living in oh, the look, past with their kids. Look up the 1960 West Ham away kit. So look. It's, it's, it's exactly the fucking same. It's, it's exactly the same. The stripes look a bit thinner. It's a different shade. It's exactly the same. It is generally exactly the same, but it just looks rubbish. It's just... It's just... Oh, I hate to say it, man, but it's just an ugly kit. Now, don't get me wrong. Right, we'll go on to the next one. I think that's wicked. That's nice, yeah. The sponsor's the same colour as the badge, same colour as the sponsor. I I think that is a really nice kit. Mm, yeah, I'd agree with that. And it's like, all right, yeah, it's plain black, but it, it's smart. Yeah, colours make it pop. Yeah, plus it, on the print, there's hammers. There's the hammers logo, the two hammers, all over. It's an all over print of the hammers logo. Oh yeah, actually that's quite cool. They should have done that on the home shirt. Thank you. See, it's something you you can see it there just behind the betway. There's the two little hammers logos. And I tell you what, that the way they've blacked out the actual West the Ham United and the London to make the um, the, the badge the, the, the iron stand exactly in the 125 years. Yeah, that's clever. I like that. Yeah, exactly. That's a much better kit. Now, why couldn't they have done something like that with the home and the away? It's I'm not being funny. Better. If the sponsor was something else, I'd be putting that there. Yeah. But I'm quite. I'd be quite happy to put that there because I, I think it's just such a smart kit. Such a smart mm. kit. I would quite happily buy that if that, if I was a West Ham fan. If I was an Arsenal fan and that was an Arsenal kit, I would buy that. Oh, West Brom. If you want a, an, an idea of copy and paste football kits, ready for this? Home, away, third. Someone got paid extra. The home kit I, I like. The blue I like and the white. Kit. Yeah, don't like the sponsor. Red and yellow should never be seen like this. It's, it's such a horrible colour combination. But again, see what I mean though? They've got the badge incorporated. That's the one saving grace is the badge is the same colour as the shirt colour. Same with yeah. this one, it's the greens. But, but it's but, just, the home shirt looks clean. I mean, it's quite busy with all the other stripes. But even then, like, I, I, I kind of like it because there's no symmetry to it. Like, you see how there's one thin yeah. stripe here, there's a thick yeah, stripe, yeah. two random ones there. I kind of like that. There's, oh, there you go, bar, barcode strip as it says here. I, I really like that. Sponsor ruins it as per usual. They could have easily done something else for the away or the third. Yeah. Just take the, the thinner stripes out, if anything. Yeah. Or just come could up with a new design. Why have, Why has it got to be copy and paste? I don't understand. And why does no one have proper collars anymore? Like the bright uh, ones. Like the bright ones, I don't know. Not like, the they're the only ones that I've. I remember that basically got a proper collar. Like anyone else got a collar? Anyone else doing V necks, round necks? Like there's no no collars. No, you're right. No one else is doing a collar this year apart from apart from Brighton. Like that Everton home shirt. If that had a white collar, that would look well nice. It would be rated higher than that. Yeah, mm. it would be up there. Yeah. Yeah. So with these three, the home kit there. Yeah. But these two need to go there. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> the home kit is nice. It's just these are trash.
I can save you time with the Wolves shirt as well. I love that shirt. The I love. I can hate the sponsor. It's but nice. I just, I nice. just like it. I've I'm, always liked Wolves home shirts. I'm generally. not a big, yeah. I'm not a big fan of teams having orange kits apart unless they're Holland. But that, that's, that's amazing. That's going top. You're going top. That's going top for me. Even with the sponsor. Even with the sponsor. Oh, wow. I, you know, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a saving grace, even though it's got that betting company, which I think. Can I say worship. under underrated badge Wolves? Underrated badge. Simplistic man. I love it. Looking at that list, is there anything there you feel should be somewhere else? Possibly move the Spurs home shirt higher. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> If that is not, if that, if this, this Arsenal away kit is there, that's definitely not going higher. And that's a nicer white kit. And let's no. be honest, look, 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 it ain't going to be higher than that Leeds kit or that Leicester white kit. That is staying exactly where it's supposed to be. I prefer the Spurs shirt to the Leeds shirt. What? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. No way. You are, yeah. you are waffling, son. No, I, I. That over that. It's just that just looks. If you took the sponsor away, it's a nice shirt, but it's a generic shirt. Like it's, you can go and buy that in Sports Direct. So what you're saying is, is the the Leeds kit should be moved down one then? Yeah. So you're saying Leeds should be down there? Yeah. The away shirt's fine, but the, the away shirt's shirt... fine. Yeah, I'm content with that. Even yeah. though that, even though this should be up here, but you know, I'll let you have it. <laughs> no, no chance. Cool. 